Happy National Honor LGBT Elders Day! For today, May 16th, on behalf of Chase Brexton Healthcare and the fabulous staff that we have. So often in our community, as we grow older, we're often looked past. And so it's nice to be in a place where I'm being celebrated for actually surviving, for living. We're living in a time where it's really important to have reverence for our elders and recognize um, the paths that they have created. And that's a big part of what we're doing here tonight to make sure people know what our elders have done for the community. Elder pride to me means the gathering of folks that were the pioneers in our community and making sure that no one is left behind. It's a safe place for seniors especially gay singers. It's a celebration of us celebrating us. There's so many wonderful advocates in the community and, and getting everyone together is so exciting. My name is Carlton and I'm part of the Elders Council and one of the first members to help start this movement of National LGBT Elders Day because other elders and ancestors led the way for us to have such a day like this today. We've been in this community for 50 years for me. I honor my cousin and different people that inspired me. And I've also been out for 50 years, and I'm a historian. We can share our wisdom with the younger gay people coming up. My favorite, favorite part, the stories. I love hearing all of the history. I met a guy here who uh, told me about when Chase Braxton just started. It was like watching history in action. It's a great way to get a window into how did we get here? What happened? How did people organize? How did they deal with really difficult challenges like the kind we're facing today? I'm 70 years old. I remember being in New York two years after Stonewall in the corner of 42nd Street and Broadway. That was the time when things had just started to move and we fought and fought and fought. Right now, our community is under attack. We are already seeing an attack on the trans community, and it's only minutes before they're after the rest of the alphabets. So we need to pull together and stick together. This event gives us the opportunity to network and put our ideas together and move forward. It just brings me such joy to be in this space, and I am so grateful that Chase Brexton continues to make it happen. Encourage your friends to join us at this wonderful event, the National Honor LGBT Elders Day, held every May 16th. This is my one night out a year that I always make sure that I make.